in general is the fact that there is no redemption i'm all for the public scolding of people if they make mistakes because i think sometimes people don't get how they're accountable for their actions especially on social media people say the most crazy off kilter nutty stuff because they know there's not going to be any real world um consequences to what they say so sometimes if you want to publicly rake somebody over the coals publicly shame them embarrass them remind them of their mistake cool no problem but let me have a way back that's all i want let me have a way back but there really seems to be no way back for some people. It's just really, really bizarre. And for whatever reason also in America, there's this weird thing that they have with black athletes where they look at them as flipping cultural thought leaders and all that malarkey. And I don't really get that in that side of things. I think maybe there's too much pressure on them in terms of to say things and to have a position. They can't just enjoy playing their sport, you know, enjoy the riches that come with it and just live. They have to kind of stand for something. And if they don't stand for that, it does this. Maybe that kind of plays into it. Maybe it's not because Kyrie is the guy that was believing in the flat earth thing. And generally he's a bit of a skeptic and some of the recent conspiracy theories. But so what? Can't you be, aren't we, don't you want to see mavericks and nutty people on the court anyway? Kyrie, I don't watch basketball, but I know Kyrie to be an amazing uh, dribbler of the basketball, right? He's got incredible handles, people say. Um, he's really good, especially for somebody of his height as well. He's not the tallest guy, but he's very athletic, very gifted with his dribbling and whatnot. Don't you want that guy to be a little bit off kilter anyway? That's what I want my athletes to be. I don't want to be flipping, no, no offense to him, but LeBron James right who came out the other day and criticized Kyrie and now he's walking it back because he's seen where it can go because essentially LeBron is kind of the flavor you know is, is, is the poster child of the NBA but he could also say one thing and it could be over for him also so you know kind of going out there and publicly chastising your colleagues or teammates or people in your community is awful in that regard but he obviously did it because he's got his own family to look after understand but I don't know man I, I hate all of it I think it's all horrible I think they're doing way too much the guy made a mistake he said sorry okay you don't believe he said sorry but who do you believe that says sorry i'm sorry you know especially nowadays in the public figures they mean what they say they say what they mean it is what it is let him get back to basketball and let's get over it because this is really really insane like the people need to just relax and chill out because this is nutty nutty beyond belief in my opinion but again what do i know what's the chat saying uche pick up uche in the chat she said this is so mature uh, exactly right like, like no ever athlete got into college being smart silly as hell for them to take what it says to heart like this i agree ryan kenosa said i'm guiding everyone to twitter true dark web j said did they do this to mel gibson exactly and that's you know what as well i have to say i think hmm i'm okay with double standards if you just acknowledge them i'm okay with double standards if you acknowledge them i'm okay with it just acknowledge that double standards exist don't insult my intelligence by telling me they don't exist but then there's different consequences for different people if they do the same crime or they do something within the same area like it doesn't make sense to me i hate that kind of stuff it really grinds my gears when there's that's kind of because it legitimately 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 is an, uh, an insult to my intelligence because i'm seeing what's happening i can understand what's going on and you're telling me no it isn't happening that way it's happening this way no treat everybody the same so that we all know where the rules are we all know where the kind of guardrails are and we can know how to play within them or play around them whatever it may be but don't punish me harshly for one thing but then do the complete opposite and overlook what the other person does that's horrendous i absolutely hate that i think it's horrible which is why i think in general the best way to kind of go about life especially if you want to be a public figure or you're especially if you're an athlete i think you should just kind of keep stum and do an obj just live for the sport enjoy your free time don't care what anyone says about what you do the dances you do how you get tatted who who you hang around with the orgies you take part in or whatever just do you don't get involved in any kind of political cultural um you know conversations because in the end it, it always ends up biting you in a bum and then the people that you hope to be defending you people especially from your own community will be the first to kick you when you're down it's probably best just to kind of ignore it and not take part honestly it really is because anything else is a complete waste of time no one's ever going to back you the way you think they're what you think you think they should back you anyway when it's come to this sort of stuff but ugh, annoying annoying annoying